thank you so much for joining us today, where we're going to spend some time talking about how you can manage dependencies and conflicts in DevOps Center. I am Gilson Canario. I am the product manager on the DevOps Center team. Uh, and I'm here with Mike Olson, our lead software engineer of the DevOps Center. So if you guys have any good comment, any good feedback, go and talk to me. But if you have any bad feedback, any complaint, this is the guy that you have to talk to. My fault. Our forward-looking statement, please make any purchase decision based on products that are currently available. So let's spend some time talking about how developers are using DevOps Center to manage uh, their application lifecycle management and also how to resolve some of the most common conflicts. But before I do that, I want to spend some time talking about what is application lifecycle management. And that is a process that guides an application from ideation all the way into release, going through planning, uh, uh, build a couple of testing stages, and release. But it doesn't stop there. It also uh, monitors the changes up until the end of life. And the purpose of having an application lifecycle management process is just creating a repetitive, co cohesive process that will help you and your, and your developers to deliver value faster and with high quality to your users. Now, let's dive in a little bit more and talk about how application lifecycle management works for any Salesforce application. And the source of changes in any Salesforce application is metadata. And that metadata can be extracted from one org and deployed to the next using any programmatic interface that have access to it such as uh, the Salesforce CLI. And it also used source control as the, as the source of truth uh, for that uh, application lifecycle management. Each stage have its own environment, uh, its own sandbox for each step of your application lifecycle management, and each stage have its own feature branch in source control. So DevOps Center. DevOps Center is the application that will help you manage your entire application lifecycle management process with a, with a declarative way, a local way on top of this complex process where you can track your changes as development is done on the org and you can attach it to a work item which will help you keep track of those changes as it moves through your development lifecycle. It will seamlessly integrate with source control. So whether you are new you're starting or you are a seasoned uh, source control user, you should be able to use it because DevOps Center does all the work for you behind the scenes. You can move changes from one or to the next with clicks instead of code. And the same process will also handle all the branch migration. And all of that is done behind the scenes. Also, we have a concept of hybrid teams. And it's basically that whether you have developers that are more comfortable using declarative tools, such as the setup or the builder, and you have more programmatic developers that are more used to working with uh, an IDE or the CLI, uh, they should be able to continue using the tools that they're more comfortable with, and both of them can collaborate together from the, the single application. And the DevOps Center uh, is in GA, and it's free. You can download it today from setup. So let's look at how DevOps Center works. When you create a work item, each work item have its own feature branch that is based upon integration or the first stage of your pipeline. As I go and I make my changes, I, once I feel comfortable, I do a commit, which can be done in DevOps Center with one click. Yep. A commit is basically the a change from a file based off of the previous version, as you can see in, in this picture. So once I'm done with doing my commits and I feel satisfied, I create what is called a pull request, a PR, which is basically a proposal to merge or to merge to the next stage. In this, uh, each PR or source control provide an indicator called mergeability, which keep, tells us that if the proposal that you did, the PR, is mergeable with the next stage. If you have a conflict or if you have any mergeability rule, uh, the mer it won't be able to merge, and DevOps Center honors that. If Once you resolve this and the PR becomes mergeable, 
then DevOps Center will be able to deploy the changes to the org. So having explained this, uh, I'm going to start talking about one of the main issues, which is what happens when you find a conflict. Uh, and to illustrate this, uh, I'm, I created work item one. And my change that I'm going to do is basically that a change to an object one, an object A. At the same time, Mike creates a work item two, and he starts working on another change on the same object. But because I'm faster, I promote my changes to the same org, and now integration have the changes that I made into the, the first stage. When Mike is finally done, he tries to promote, and he cannot do it. There's going to be a merge conflict, because source control is detecting that there are two changes uh, that are competing, and it is asking you to fix it, which one is the winner. At this point, in DevOps Center, we will display some dialogues showing that either the promotion failed or that you have a conflict. And because DevOps Center cannot promote it because of the mergeability rule. And in this case, what you have to do is basically go to the PR, see the conflict, and then resolve the conflict. That would make the pull request mergeable, and then DevOps Center will be able to promote. Another, another scenario that we see often is when you have a dependency. And to illustrate this example is that I created work item one, and my change is going to be creating a new object. And I'm going to call it object A. I'm done with my changes, and I promote it to the first stage of my pipeline. And now integration have the, the object A created in that. Once I move it to integration, and Mike, because it's very thorough and difficult QA, he found that I missed a requirement. So in that case, I had to create work item two, make the changes to object A, and promote it to integration again. Now, uh, Mike finally gave me the, the go, the approval. So I want to promote the changes, because my, my original change missed a requirement but it's going to fail because, as I mentioned before, a commit is a change based off of the previous version, and I'm only trying to promote a change of something that doesn't exist yet. So for me to be able to promote this, uh, no, sorry, DevOps Center will detect that there are some shared files uh, between work items, and it will provide this dialogue saying, with some guidance, guidance saying, first promote, the other work item so that you can promote this. And now that I do that, when I promote the first work item, now integration will have the new change. And then I have to promote the second work item, which is the fix, and it will be able to promote. Another way for you to, fi to, to resolve this is by using bundling. A bundling in DevOps Center is basically the stage where after, after that stage, DevOps Center will use the stages branch to promote uh, your work item forward instead of using the individual work item. Mm -hmm. So in this example, because I have the change and I have the, I have the object and the change, now when I'm promoting the stages branch, both changes will be there. Another, uh, another option that you can have is a new feature that we recently introduced uh, last month, and it's basically combined work item. And the idea here is that DevOps Center will provide the option for you to combine both work items into one single work item so that it will only have one feature branch with both the adding the new object and the change of the object. And then from there, you will be able to promote. If you choose the first option, it will combine the work item. If you choose the second option, it basically promote uh, what you are trying to promote, but you might have to, you might lead to more other situation that you need to solve it from the previous example. And that's how it's going to show in DevOps Center with a combined icon. And this is how it's worked behind the scene. It is basically, we are going to append work item two at the end of work item one. And since I'm going to have only one uh, feature branch, I'm going to be able to promote it to the next stage. And I know this was a lot, but uh, as a summary of how, what are some tips that you can do um, to resolve this is basically try to plan ahead with your team. 
uh, what changes are you going to make and in what order. So that way you avoid having this situation. And second one is also communicate with your team and talk in advance, very well in advance, who goes first and who goes second. Keep a, a development environment in sync. Uh, keep using, keep your work item granularity very small so that you have more options on what you promote uh, first and second. Use bundling, the earliest the better, and also use the new combined work item feature. So now I'm gonna give the mic to Mike and he's gonna provide us a demo. Thank you, Gilson. All right, so as Gilson was talking about, uh, we have a new feature called combined work items that I wanna show off today. Uh, and one of the use cases that he talked about uh, is a very common one we hear from our customers uh, where you do some work and you find a problem in QA. Uh, so this morning, uh, Gilson uh, picked up the work item, work item 12 here, um, and he needed to create a lightning record page uh, for our custom object called widgets. Uh, just a simple uh, UI landing page. Gilson being super fast as a developer picked up the work and knocked it out really quick. And then it was up to me to go and QA it. So, it's been promoted to our first stage. I'm gonna go and look at that environment uh, so that I can perform the QA process on it. It's gonna load and we're gonna go and I happen to have one widget laying around and I go and I click on do the QA and oh my God, he didn't read the AC. He used the wrong text. That is not correct. So he failed QA. So we need to create another work item so that we can fix that. So I went in this morning uh, after I QA'd it and I started working in my development environment and I created a second work item. And this second work item is to fix that lightning record page and give it the correct test. I did it in my dev environment. I went out and I pulled the changes. And as you can see here, I've got one file that was committed uh, to this work item. Uh, it's a change to that flexi page uh, with hopefully this time the correct uh, acceptance criteria met. Uh, so I've gone through, I've had my peers review it. They've looked at the change request. So I'm gonna make it as ready to promote. And now we wanna perform QA on the fix to Gilson's work item. So we're gonna get this into the integration environment. And to do that, we use a DevOps Center promotion. I'm uh, just gonna select the work item that I want. Uh, we're gonna be given a couple of options. I'm just gonna say, go ahead and use the default. And this is now going through the process that Gilson de de described uh, in his pictures, right? We're taking the metadata from the feature branch, we're merging it into the integration branch, and then we're gonna deploy the results of that merge out to the integration environment. And then once this gets done, go ahead and close that out. Uh, and as you can see, everything that's running along through there uh, is just part of the promotion process. So there we go. We now have both of those work items in our integration stage and we're ready to start QA again. And so we're gonna go and we're gonna go look at that environment. We can open it up here. All right, there we go. We're back to our widgets and we're gonna go look at our widget page. And this time we're gonna see that I did actually fix the problem and we now have met our acceptance criteria because we now have the correct text uh, in our lightning record page. So now we're back to that situation that Gilson talked about that we can't really promote uh, one, of these work, uh, one of these work items without the other because they're dependent on each other. And what we want to do to get around that is we want to go through the combined work item stage. And hopefully we can go through the combined work item stage. I'm sorry, I'm having some networking issues, so I'm not going to be able to finish this operation. Um, but the basic idea is that I would select that work item, uh, the create lightning page work item. And when I went to go and promote it, uh, we would get the dialogue uh, that Gilson showed back here. And it would allow us to join those two branches together and create a single work item. Uh, the benefit of this is now we would have this single work item. Uh, there would only be one work item in our pipeline and we can treat it like just like any other work item, right? It's for all practical purposes, one work item built off of those two feature branches. We can promote it to the next stage. We can include it in a bundle uh, when we get to that version of our, our stage and move it all the way through our pipeline. So again, sorry the demo didn't work or didn't finish, uh, but that was the conclusion. Combined work items is already GA. We released a week ago. Uh, so if you've updated to the latest version of the DevOps Center, you have this in your, in your org right now. We have uh, 
roadmap that is publicly live and, and so that you can see what's coming. Uh, please take some time, take a picture, see what's coming, uh, upvote on the features that you would like to see, add comments with your use cases. So, I'm sorry, really, really quick on this roadmap. If you would have asked me at TDX this year, were you, are we going to work on a feature called combined work items? I would have said, I don't even know what that means at the time. Combined work items was something that customers put on our roadmap and prioritized, and therefore we got it out early. So we do follow this. So if there's stuff that you want, go out at the roadmap, see what we are planning, give us feedback, give us ideas, uh, give us prioritization. We do take that very seriously. Also, we have a community, uh, the DevOps Center, Trailblazer community, where we have documentation like user guide, uh, how to get started, video demos. We have a very engaged community, so if you have any questions, uh, probably it's already been answered. If not, the team is there to, to respond. And thank you so much. Thank you.